Using Boolean algebra simplify the following example. We are going to start like always from factoring. And keep in mind that we will try in prompts like this factorize first two variables if this is possible. So if you are going to look at this example, we have B0 and C. Another term which has B0 and C is over here. So I'm going to use these two terms to factorize two variables, B0, C. And the third one is supposed to write inside of the parentheses. In this case, it's going to be A0 from this term or A from this term. Now, take a look at these two terms. I can factorize from both of them B, C naught. So I'm going to write OR B, C naught. And inside of the parentheses, I'm going to have A naught or A. From these two terms, I can factorize B, C. That's why I'm going to write OR B, C. Inside of the parentheses, I'm going to have A naught or A. Remember that complements or together are going to give me one. So I'm going to have B naught C times one, or we can say B naught C and one, or B C naught and one or B, C, and 1. B naught, C, and 1 is always B naught, C, or B, C, and 1 is B, C naught, or B, C, and 1 is simply B, C. Okay, look what we can factorize over here. I have B and B. That's why I'm going to factorize uh, B. C naught or C gives me 1. That's why I'm going to write B naught C or B and 1. 1 and B will give me B. That's why I'm going to have B naught C or B. And I'm going to apply the complement absorption theorem, which says that anytime I have complements, but one of them is ended with something else, that complement is going to drop out. That's why I'm I'm going to write my answer in this way, C or B. This is my solution.